Welcome to Really American. I am Michael Hain. First and foremost, let me say to any of our viewers out there who are living in Florida, my heart it goes out to you. I hope you're able to find um, temporary shelter, stay with family, and that is that you're completely out of the direct impact zone and just, just the best to you. I had to experience something not probably like this, but with in 2012 in my state with Hurricane Super, excuse me, Superstorm Sandy. Anyway, speaking of which, um, it's a good thing that uh, we remove climate change from textbooks. That was very effective. That's how we combated all this, right? Yeah. Um, and I hate to break it to you, MAGA, but um, Joe Biden, he's not controlling the weather from his basement. I, I don't even think he is controlling the thermostat down there. I think he has somebody that does that for him. That's what I can never quite understand. I mean, there's a lot I don't understand about MAGA, but foremost is the massive contradiction that is your belief system. Because on one hand, don't you believe that government is completely incompetent, incapable of anything, you know, is 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 not able to successfully pull anything off? And yet, and yet, Sleepy Joe's controlling the weather from his basement. And the government is somehow responsible for every major occurrence that's going on. Uh, gun shootings, everything. They've been able to pay off crisis actors, everything like that. So you have to pick one, MAGA. You have to stick to an insane conspiracy theory. You're just all over the map. Anyway, when it comes to this hurricane, and when it comes to hurricanes in general, President Biden has been completely on top of it. He has been distributing funds. He did so following um, Helene. He was readily available and was taking calls with the Georgia Republican governor. And that governor actually verified, corroborated that when Trumpy Dumpty was saying, he's not doing anything, Sleepy Joe, blah, 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 blah. But he actually had it. From, when we, actually, when he calls election officials in Georgia, Trumpy Dumpty, it's to actually assist the constituents there. It isn't to convince them to steal votes and, you know, undermine the election. Take note of that. Anyhow... Conservatives, namely MAGA conservatives and Fox News, has been trying to find anything with which to go after Biden to act as though that him and Kamala Harris aren't doing anything with this hurricane. Now, Fox News is the place, will always be the place of your angry, uninformed, racist uncle to get his daily digest of hate and manufactured outrage over nothingness that will actually not better him economically. It will always be that. However, amid all that white mediocrity and bad bleach blonde harpies, there exists a breath of fresh air. And that breath of fresh air is this woman, Jessica Tarlow. She, I don't know how she manages to do it. Maybe she's got much better access to drugs than I do. But she is able to constantly not only withstand the mountain of bullshit that is tossed her direction each and every day by her colleagues at Fox News, but she also can then muster the energy to constantly put them in check in live, real time as it's happening. Well, <laughs> guess what she did when it came to all the massive and monumental sea of bullshit going on with the hurricane. Let's see. We're missing a billion dollars they gave them to the migrants that came in. Kamala spent all her FEMA money, billions of dollars, on housing for illegal migrants. They've given over a billion dollars to illegal migrants that came in, and now they have no money. Marco Rubio didn't like something, so he said that it was fake. And the reality is, and I mentioned this yesterday on The Five, that every accusation is a confession from the Republicans. You know, the only president who actually did take funds that were supposed to go to disaster relief and move them to dealing with the border? That was Donald Trump. Was he took, no, he took $155 million dollars out of the team defense. of... Trump saying we gave your disaster relief money to people who are here undocumented is a a lie and it b obviously creates a narrative that is inaccurate what, you, and dangerous. What, what pot are the immigrants getting the money from? The shelter services pot. Oh, a different and, FEMA pot. And, but it's a FEMA pot. Yes, but it's yes or no? What you are accusing Joe it Biden is of is FEMA actually pot. the thing that Donald Trump did in 2019. 
Ooh. That's what happened. He was the one who moved money out of the disaster Jessica, relief fund. You see what's happening set- here? I'm just so glad that Jessica is there because it's almost like if you go to a Kid Rock concert and you happen to run into an actual human being and one that doesn't want to steal your catalytic converter for meth money. That's kind of like how I feel with Jessica being at Fox News there. And yes, when it comes to the malignant, lying, sweaty pig, she's absolutely correct. Trumpy Bumpy did do this. Let's take a little bit look as to what he did with FEMA money. We have seen forecasts that we could see um, a really severe hurricane season as FEMA and the federal government prepared to meet the needs of um, some of these potential disasters. Uh, you said FEMA and the federal government? Yeah, they're here right now. FEMA's here right now. So the big concern this year is the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we're expecting an above average year. Um, as you can see here, named storms uh, 13 to 19. Hurricanes 6 to 10 and major hurricanes, we're expecting 3 to 6. Um, like I said, this is above average. This does not necessarily mean they'll make landfall. What makes you think that uh, those numbers would be correct? Very much of a projection, right? Now, obviously, Trump doesn't read, nor does he understand history. Obviously, somebody sinister behind the scenes, you know, a Goebbels-like creepo, you know, like that Stephen Miller kind of dude. Uh, That reptile behind the scenes are saying this to him. And that is right out of the Nazi playbook that you accuse your enemy of doing what you are doing as you are doing it so as to create confusion. And that is exactly what he is doing. Now, if you thought that, what was that, like a following year in 2019 from 2018, it was like a 57% drop, which of course led to a devastatedly unprepared FEMA, which of course led to, I don't know, untold amount of um, first responders and physicians and nurses not having the necessary equipment and funds they needed to combat that plague that Trumpy Dumpty knew about but then did nothing about and delayed and then did all the bullshit about it being a hoax and everything for the longest time. And then thought the solution was, you know, bleach injections. So if you thought that was bad, well, (laughs) project 2025. Well, now that is going to essentially gut FEMA as we know it. Anyway, I am Michael Hain. This is really American. Please subscribe to our channel and check me out on my latest TikTok at Mike Hain comedian. Talk to you later.